It's time to meet this month's winner of the Jefferson Award. This month's winner is a trailblazer, literally. What this used to be is just a slippery path that when it gets muddy would be extremely difficult to navigate. Meet Tom Kolb, this month's winner of the Jefferson Award. For about eight years now, Tom has been volunteering to help create and maintain trails, just like this one at Urban Park in Chippewa Falls. Especially over this last year, as, as extreme as the winter was, we had a lot of downed trees and a lot of damage to the trails. We get out there in the middle part of April just to do a lot of cleanup. We build new trail from time to time uh, if we have reroutes. Shorter trails like this make the beauty of nature here in the Chippewa Valley more accessible to everyone. But this trail was just something Tom and other volunteers assisted Irvin Park with. The heart and soul of his volunteer efforts zero in on the Ice Age Trail. Our daughter and her husband who live in Chippewa Falls uh, invited us out on a hike up by the Obie Center and that's when we found out about the Ice Age Trail. It was love at first hike. Well, the more we found out about it, we go, wow, this is, this is really a cool thing. Tom's been volunteering with the Chippewa Moraine chapter of the Ice Age Trail Alliance ever since. His chapter of about 50 active members put in this massive 736 foot long boardwalk on the southern edge of Firth Lake. In addition to all the hard work, Tom has slowly but surely been hiking the 1200 mile trail as well. My wife and I are section hiking it currently. Got about 500 miles in, about 700 to go, so we got a ways to go. Tom says being on the Ice Age Trail not only helps connect you with nature, but other hikers as well. One of those hikers is Scott Tome. It does really kind of capture a lot of the different parts of Wisconsin, getting a chance to hike along lakes and rivers and streams and open fields and hills and forests and farmland and urban areas too. Scott is also section hiking the Ice Age Trail. He says he's at 550 miles so far. And it is pretty remarkable the amount of effort they put into it. Just when you're hiking the trail and you think about how long it takes to hike just a single mile, um, you think about how long it took to kind of clear that mile of path and to do the stole work and put down boardwalks and bridges. According to the Alliance, over 70,000 volunteer hours goes into the trail each and every year. The dedication is absolutely there, even though it's hard work and most of the most of the volunteers are retired people. So we could use some younger ones if anybody's interested. Now, in addition to all the work that Tom does on trails, he's also been delivering meals on wheels and helping patients at the info desk at St. Joe's Hospital in Chippewa Falls every week for over six years now. If you'd like to nominate an outstanding volunteer for a Jefferson Award, just head to our website.